chapter 4, question 6 states, calculate the sum of squares, variance, standard devi and standard deviation for the following population of n equals 5 scores, and n, big N. The scores are 2, 13, 4, 10, and 6. And it says, note the definitional formula works well with these scores. So I've got the scores here. For the definitional formula, what the first thing that I need to do is I need to calculate the mean. Now it's mu, not at capital M, because we're dealing with a population. We know we're dealing with a population because the question says a population of scores and also because there's a big N. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the sum of X and divide by the number of scores. So 2 plus 13 plus 4 plus 10 plus 6 is 35. And we divide that by the 5 scores and we get 7. So the next step is to take each score and subtract the mean for the definitional formula. So we're going to take 2, subtract 7, that's negative 5. 13 subtract 7, that's 6. 4 subtract 7 is negative 3. 10 subtract 7 is 3. And 7 or 6 subtract 7 is negative 1. If we want to double check whether or not we've done this correct, what we can do is we can add up this column and it should equal 0. So these two threes cancel out, negative 1 and negative 5 are negative 6, and then 6 is 6. So it does add up to 0, which is a good check. So this is step 1. Step 2, we need to take each of these deviation scores. So these are the deviation scores. We take each deviation score and we square it. So negative 5 times negative 5 is 25, because when you square a negative, you get a positive. So then 6 squared is 36. So we've got 9, 9, and 1. Then for the sum of squares, which is step 3, what we're going to do is we're going to add up the square of all of these deviation scores. So if we look here, just to re review um, the order of operations, you take each score, you do the brackets, so you take each score, subtract the mean, then you do exponents, you square, and then you do the summation symbol. So we're going to add them all up. So this is 25 plus 36 plus 9 plus 9 plus 1. and that's equal to 80. The last step is step 4, and that's where um, we're going to find the, well, no, I suppose there's five steps. We're going to find the variance in step 4, and we'll find the standard deviation in step 5. So for step 4, this is where we need to be careful about whether or not we have a population or a sample. So for step 4, we have a population, so we're going to calculate the variance. And what we're going to do is we're going to take the sum of squares that we calculated in step 3, and we're going to divide by big N because we have a population. So we're going to take 80, and we'll divide it by 5. And that's equal to 16. For step 5, this is where we calculate the standard deviation, and this is our last step, so the sigma, which is equal to the square root of sigma squared, so the square root of 16, which is 4. So to answer each of the pieces of the question, the sum of squares is 80, the variance is 16, and the standard deviation is 4.